Japanese art movement known as Gutai. Jiro Yashihara, who lived from 1905 to 1972, was the founder of what would come to be called the Gutai movement, and he lived through some of the most turbulent times in Japan's history. His eventual goal was to make traditional Japanese arts, such as calligraphy, take on a new meaning for a modern transcultural world. Yoshihara, the heir to his family's company, played many roles to his fellow artists as a peer, a benefactor, and a mentor. Thus, within the Gutai movement's lifespan, from 1955, when he penned the group's manifesto, until his death in 1972, Yoshihara was referred to as sensei, or teacher, by his fellow artists. During this 18-year history of the Gutai Bijutsu Kyokai, or Gutai Art Association, it was generally denied acknowledgement by the established exclusive art academies in Japan largely because of two factors. Firstly, geographical distance between Tokyo and the rural Kansai province where the movement was centered. The post-war dominance of socialist realism and Marxist imagery in the contemporary art world of the time in Japan uh, reflecting feelings of existential alienation and the general apocalypse on a societal level. Because of this predominance of style, established artists in Japan considered Kutai to be primarily a bourgeois spectacle. Prior to World War II, Art was dominated by a surrealist trend in painting. Yoshihara was accepted into a Fauvist style group, which, by rejecting the notions of the Ministry of Education of Japan, set themselves up as the vanguard of their time. Soon, this group seemed too restrictive to Yoshihara, who, along with other surrealist and abstract painters, set up and became a leading spokesman of a group called the Ninth Room Association, which was less Fauvist. By the end of the war, only art by the Japan Patriotic Art Association was allowed within Japan. After the war, Abstract expressionism was preferred over figurative forms in a kind of emotional outlet and as a desire to negate some literal depictions of the horrors experienced of war. Along with concepts of democracy and modernization, the art world of post-war Japan cast off restrictions concerning artists belonging to an established school in order to show at juried salon institutions. Ironically, his anti-establishment trend was spearheaded in Osaka, Kansai province by the artists Ai Kui, who, when he founded the Democratic Artists Association. Throughout the 1950s, numerous national galleries and museums were, for the first time, suddenly able to have touring exhibitions from internationally renowned contemporary artists. The impact of these events presented a challenge to Japanese artists best paraphrased by one of Jiro Yashihara's mentors, the artist Fujita Suguharu, 
who lived from 1886 to 1968. In his essay entitled Genius, quote, It is often said, for better or worse, that we Japanese are gifted for imitating things, which we can improve upon, but that we are lacking in the innate power to create without a model from which to work. In the realm of art, we must create works of new value, ones of our own devising." End quote. A great catalyst for Yoshihara was seeing Jackson Pollock's work, which directly contradicted notions of socialist realism, ideology, and regionalism so prevalent at that time. As Yoshihara began to be considered at an art impresario, he began yet another group and workshop, the Contemporary Art Discussion Group, known as Gimbi. Yet this group set itself apart in that it held a dual mission to take traditional Japanese art forms reflecting Yoshihara's growing interest in calligraphy at the time, and to rework these uniquely Japanese methods so as to give them an apparent globally relevant appeal. This sincere interest in traditional technique and philosophy was simultaneously matched with a deliberate naivete drawn from children's publications and the quoted perceptions made by children concerning the world around them. The deceptively simple candy-coated result is a phenomena seen at every spectrum from pop art to high art and to be recognized as uniquely Japanese. It all started with Gutai, Yoshihara painted endless circles in search of the perfect one, which would be a symbolic of Satori, the state of enlightenment, and also worked with building metal sculptures. He is compared by the critic Michael Lucan to the Taoist shepherd Huang Suo Ping who, through perseverance, was able to bring matter to life. This sense of anthropomorphism is precisely what the term Gutai is meant to co convey. The name Gutai means concrete or embodiment, allowing the materials and actions to speak for themselves, stripped down to fundamentals by way of their own nature thereby interpreting the manifesto. The first Kutai festival was the Sky Festival, held in a park in Osaka over several days in 1954 to 1956. The dates range depending on the source. In 1955 to 1958, the Gutai Stage Exhibition was held. This brought the group notoriety on a national and international level. The French art critic and high priest of Informel, Michel Tapier, passed along Gutai publications to Jackson Pollock, and a large number of these were found after Pollock's death. Tapier and Pollock both traveled to Japan together numerous times to see the Gutai movement in person. Other influential foreigners included American critic Harold Rosenberg and the photographer Hans Namath. By the mid-1960s, Gutai had also deeply influenced the French artist Georges Mathieu. Through art critic Tapier, Mathieu would, for better or worse, 
utilize Kutai's unconventional methods to the point of oversaturating these with the Western art audience. Techniques in painting included the use of remote-controlled robots for the first time, and also painting with chemicals and various filtering devices. Such innovative techniques were not what awaited the American public when Tapier arranged the only solo Butai show ever in America at the Martha Jackson Gallery in New York during 1958. Unfortunately, what was shown were abstract, expressionist-style paintings with which America was already all too familiar. The show was poorly received, however, it would deeply influence Alan Caprow in the creation of happenings, as documented in his book, Assemblage, Environments, and Happenings, and also eventually help to establish notions such as concept art and elaborate installation pieces. Critics such as Alexandra Monroe, who documented Gutai in the book Scream Against the Sky, claim that happenings in actuality went against the Gutai aesthetic, and also Gutai should be celebrated in its own right for its early works with materials such as plastic, rather than be placed in the context of being the seed for a Western movement. Although there are many artists of note and a significant body of work celebrated under the heading of the Gutai movement, it is Shozo Shimamoto who has been given the most attention. His works involving painting and making intentional holes in painted newspaper canvases and creating a completely handmade animated art film slash light show complete with some of the first examples of musique concrete rocked the art world. Exhibited here are worthy reasons for his notoriety as the most famous Thai artist, Jozo's paintings were made by throwing glass jars of paint onto a surface spread on the floor. He called the technique throws of color. He was active throughout the entire lifespan of Thai, and his works have survived that of many of the other artists for comment. His works were chosen to be part of a showing of 150 20th century artists from throughout the world at the Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art, Vienna, Barcelona, and the Museum of Contemporary Art, Tokyo, consecutively over the course of a year. On this momentous showing, Shimamoto Shozo said, and I quote, As I stepped from the first room, I was astounded. On one wall, there was something by Jackson Pollock, the representative of the American contemporary art world. Next to this was something by Lucio Fontana, one of the most representative artists of Europe. And next to that were two of my whole works. On the opposite side of the room, there was a musical score by the American contemporary composer John Cage. These were supposed to be the four great artists who represent the 20th century. In the catalog for the show, it was written that the art of the century could be traced back to these four individuals. I was shocked. End quote. Another striking artist is Tanaka Atsuko who is often shown while performing her one-time-only piece, wearing a dress composed entirely of lit light bulbs. Black and white photos simply cannot do th this remarkable and dangerous accomplishment the justice of conveyance it deserves. A color photograph which portrays the detail of the multicolored 
wires and sockets is truly awe-inspiring. She is also known for her work transforming other household items into vanguard art pieces, such as her painted and bent metal plate. She is the most prominent, if not the only, female artist of the group and one of the first female conceptual artists. Motanaga Saramasa is known for his works involving the use of smoke and water. Toshio Yoshida created works using only one lump of paint. Murakami Saburo, known best for his circa 1955 piece Laceration of Paper, in which he ran through screens of stretched paper was also known for his series of paintings made with a ball soaked in ink and then thrown onto the canvases laid out onto the floor. Kazuo Shiraga was a very prolific artist within the group. A Zen Buddhist monk, he was concerned with wrestling organic elements, half-naked, such as mud, in the piece Challenge to the Mud. Many photographs of his performances exist and they have become some of the best known works of Gutai art. Shiraga also created foot paintings using oil paints which are considered to be compelling and powerful according to critics. Although Gutai works have been included with showings of works from other schools in the U.S., such as the exhibition of works by artists in post-war Japan in Scream Against the Sky. Almost all showings have been in Europe. In 1990-1991, to 1991, Butai Art was featured at the National Gallery of Modern Art in Rome, and also at the Matehilden Hohe Institute in Germany. However, the movement has also received attention due to its exhibition at the Galerie Nationale du Jeu de Palme in Paris in 1999 and a retrospective tour in honor of the millennium. Most recently, Atsuko Tanaka and Akira Kanayama spoke at the Japan Society in New York in 2004, hosted by Alexandra Munro. Their appearance coincided with some Gutai works being shown simultaneously in the Great Gallery, also in New York City. An update to this is that there has been a recent Gutai exhibition, Coast to Coast. Check out the Museum of Modern Art or uh, the Los Angeles Museum of Contemporary Art for more details. Thank you.